This is a tutorial on how to install the Tails Anonymous operating system on a Mac and configure the ClauseMail email client to send and receive encrypted emails. So let's get started. Download a copy of Tails. If you want to verify the Tails signature, the instructions on how to do this are in the link at the bottom of this video. When the download is complete, burn a DVD disk image. To do this, launch Disk Utility, located in Applications, Utilities, Disk Utility. Go to the Downloads folder and drag and drop the Tails image into the left pane of Disk Utility. Highlight it and select Burn. When the DVD is ready, Shut down the computer and hold down the Alt or Option key on Startup. Select Boot from Disk, press Enter. Only select Yes for more options if you plan to install additional software. Log in. If you want to, you can use Tails just like this and run it from the DVD, surf anonymously, send Gorilla Mail, or whatever else you want to do. On the other hand, if you want to set up your email client in Tails and have Tails save your settings, then create a persistent volume on a USB stick. Insert a USB device and launch the Tails installer located in Applications, Tails, Tails Installer. Select Clone and Install. In the drop down menu, select the USB device. Select Install Tails. When installed, restart your computer in OS X. Open the browser and search for Download Refind. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Download it. Unzip it. Select the folder and highlight the install.sh file. Then open Terminal, located in Applications, Utilities, Terminal. Drag and drop the install.sh file into Terminal. Press Return. Enter your system password, press return. Now restart the computer, making sure both the Tails DVD and USB device are connected. The boot menu should load up. Select the Linux Penguin. Log into Tails. Now you can create the persistent volume to save your settings. By going to Applications, Tails, 
configure persistent volume. Enter a password for the persistent volume and create it. Now select what data should be stored on the persistent volume. To find out what each of them do, search online for Tails, Create and Configure Persistent Volume. To use the persistent volume, restart Tails. Select yes, enter your persistent volume password and log in. Your configurations and passwords will now be saved onto the USB device. If you don't have a secure email account, sign up to one. Unfortunately, most of these cost money. My collab is hosted in Switzerland and there's TorGuard as well as many others. Rise Up offer free accounts to activists. Now to configure clause mail, select the clause mail icon on the toolbar. Add your name. This is the name or pseudonym that will appear to recipients. Enter your email address, select forward, here you need to add the server address. Search for your email provider server address and SSL encryption type. Here the SSL encryption type is start TLS. If you can't find these settings, search for client configuration and the name of your email provider. Go back to clause mail and enter the IMAP address. Enter your email address and password. I'm going to select Start TLS as specified by my provider. Down here, enter your IMAP address again. Select Forward. Enter the outgoing server address, starting with SMPT. And select the encryption type again. Select Forward, Save. Send an email to see if it works. If it doesn't work, go to your email account preferences in Configuration, Preferences for Current Account, select Send. In the Authentication drop-down box, Select Login and enter your email address and password. Then select Advanced and select the SMPT and IMAP ports. Make a note of the numbers. Open your browser and search for IMAP port and the name of your email provider. If the numbers are different, change them. Select Apply and OK. The final step is to send encrypted mail. For this, you need to generate a key pair for your email address. Open Account Preferences, located in Configuration, Preferences for current account and select PGP. Select generate new key pair. Enter a password for your PGP key. 
and generate it. If you want people to be able to find your public key, export it to a key server. To add a contact public key to the key library, open passwords and encryption keys located under System, Preferences, Passwords and Encryption Keys, select Other Keys and press the search icon. Enter your contact's email address and search. Highlight the email address and select Import. Go back to Clause Mail, press Apply and OK. To activate PGP encryption, go to Options, Privacy System and select PGP Inline. Only use MIME if you know your recipient's email client supports this. Then go back to Options again and select Sign and Encrypt. Compose your mail and send. You will be prompted for the password of your PGP key. That's it. You can use this same USB stick to log on to a Windows PC without the DVD by changing the boot order to USB boot in the computer's BIOS.